Yeah, cause I would've humble a guy So you can't destroy me You want a name and the fame But I do this shit for the glory Alright, so bet You ever told a close relative A good friend a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, spouse, anything. You ever told them some good news and the response you got back from them wasn't what you thought it would be? Pay close attention to that. I say that to say this. A lot of people congratulate you and insult you at the same time. Unfortunately, everybody is not happy when you have good news. And you have to understand that, and the quicker you realize that, the quicker you can cut certain, uh, cut certain ties with certain people. You might tell someone about a future endeavor that you're having, whether it's personally, whether it's with your uh, a, a business or anything like that. And if they respond any way that doesn't seem 100% genuine, that's because it's not. Watch the way people respond when you have good news. Watch the way people respond when you have something going on in your personal life that they don't. Watch the way people respond when you have something that's going on in your business life or your career and they don't. Watch the way people respond when you elevate and they're still stagnant. Watch the way people respond when you are wholeheartedly living in your purpose and you're walking in faith and they are not where they want to be. Watch all of that. Nine times out of ten, the people who are going to hurt you the most are the people that's going to be closest to you. It's sad that it's like that, but that's a part of life. You have to see all of this. You have to be able to peep game and read between the lines. For instance, if I just share something personal with you or something big with you or something grandiose with you, and your only response is that's cool, is it simply that's cool or is it you don't want to be happy for me. Something that you would look, be looked down on or frowned upon and you're doing something well, in the eyes of somebody else, that might just be mediocre. But then you can see somebody else right behind you do the same exact thing, same exact thing, and your friends, they'll respond differently. Watch the way your friends, watch the way your friends conduct themselves. I say that to say this, um, when I moved to Atlanta, I, I thought, you know, I would come out of my shell. I thought that I would really stop being so antisocial. I thought I would make friends. I thought I would, uh, you know, really just I start communicating more. Because when I was back in South Carolina, I was just real, sh like, it just real to myself. And, and, and I like that. I love being to myself. But... It was like everybody else around me had a problem with me being alone. Everybody else, oh, you need to get out. You need to do this. Everybody had a problem with me being alone. So I was like, you know what? Maybe that's something I need to work on. So I made a promise to myself, like when I got to Atlanta, I'm going to reach out to people, you know, converse, make friends, do something. <laughs> when I got here, it was like uh, I slowly realized I didn't have any friends here at all. Um, and I say that, and I don't know a lot of people are going to get up in their feelings like, oh, I'm a friend. Nah, <laughs> you can't tell me you're a friend if my spirit doesn't reassure that. Or my heart, my mind, my body, my soul, my spirit, it doesn't reassure my feelings. You know, well, your feelings about how I feel. And I would never tell somebody they're wrong for feeling the way they feel. I can never tell you wrong for feeling the way you feel, but I can tell you wrong for thinking the way you think. My definition of friend is, is so much different than the people that were around me. You should already know as a friend to exclude me for certain things. When people don't respect you or don't value you as a friend, they will try to pressure you into doing things you don't like. They will talk about you to people that you don't know or you probably do know, but they'll talk about you behind your back. They will share some of your personal, your personal secrets and their, your things that you hold near and dear to you. If you tell them like, hey, hold this near and dear to you as well. They'll go out there and share it with people that you don't even want them to share it with. And um, I'm starting to see 
I was giving so much energy to people who I thought were friends and their energy would only be reciprocated in the form of business. It's so draining, man, and I really want to say this. It's so draining when you're a recording artist and every time somebody calls you on the phone, like they don't even say hey or how you doing this straight hey you know I got this idea in mind for woot do woot or hey let's do this or like yo you know what I'm saying it's so draining because it's like at least say hey you know what I'm saying at least say hey or ask me how I do it. it's so draining and I'm realizing that I have more business partners than I had friends because when you're my friend when you hurt I hurt when you're going through something I'm going through something when you, you know what I'm saying? You feeling pain, I'm feeling pain. You angry, I'm upset. You feel me? Uh, that, that's what I consider a friend. So I have to watch the way people congratulate me and I have to really separate myself and understand that everybody who I consider a friend don't consider me a friend. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it gets to a point where, you know, you really got to reevaluate yourself and reevaluate who and what you let into your circle. Yeah, so that's that, but I'm also starting to realize that I have to be careful who I tell good news to as well. Not only simple fact that they they may insult me and congratulate me at the same time, but a lot of people will try to use me. You know what I'm saying? This is the first time in a long time in my personal career and my personal life that I have, uh, you know, good news to share. Now I'm starting to realize the same people who understand that I have good news now, they're trying to use that to their advantage. I'm nobody's mule, man. I'm nobody's mule. I'm nobody's mule ticket. I'm nobody's property, man. No. Uh, no. You know what I'm saying? That is so wrong. You know what I'm saying? That I don't understand why people are the way they are. People don't want to support you. People don't want to endorse you until you are able, until you are able to do something for them. People would not, would not believe in you until you can make them a profit or you, until you can get their name out there or until you can bring some type of light or attention to them. And I hate that. I hate that because anytime I go out my way, anytime I go out my way for somebody, man, it's genuine. I've never, I, and I'm, I mean this, I never fake, showed fake love to anybody. First of all, I don't even got enough energy to, to pretend like I like something that I don't. But anytime I help somebody out, man, it's genuine. It's coming from my heart. I help you because I want to help you. Not because I feel like I have to. Not because you can do anything for me. Like, yo, it's in my heart. And I realize that. I say that to say, it's okay, man. It's okay to remove yourself from a situation. It's okay to throw caution into the wind. It's okay to walk away. It's okay to do all of that because when your heart, your mind, your body, soul, spirit, when something is wrong, you can feel it. I gotta say this. It bothers me that people only care about your feelings when you cut them off. For whatever reason, when you cut somebody off, it's like, oh, it's like something finally goes off in their hair, like something is wrong. A lot of people who I was close with, man, they, they drove me to the point where I had to say, I can no longer be Ricardo around you. And sometimes I have to check myself because honestly, I'm easy. It's easy for me to cut people off. It, it really is. It's so long. I try to hold on to people, things that, you know what I'm saying, that were no good for me. You know, I tried so long to hold on to it, so I know how it feels to hold on to something when you need to let go. Now I'm to the point where it's easy to let things go, and I know that. So sometimes I have to sit back for a little bit and check myself like, hey, Cardo, are you rushing to cut this person off, or are you rushing to cut this thing off? And, you know... So sometimes like I kind of overthink it. Like maybe let me just let me just slow down. Let me let me really just figure out what I'm doing. Let me figure out what I'm doing. The people who I really have a problem with, these are the people who you cut them off and they get a sudden case of amnesia. 
Like you just forgot everything that you know we discussed, or you forgot everything that I pointed out to you, or you just forgot. That shows me a lot. That shows me that you didn't even value my opinion when I first gave it to you. It shows me that you didn't care enough about our friendship. About our friendship or our relationship to fix whatever that was bothering me. You didn't care enough about my feelings as an individual, whether it be personally you know what I'm saying, through love or whatever. You didn't care anything about my feelings to even remember that. That's harsh to sell. Besides my my relatives, you know what I'm saying, it's probably like maybe two, three people I can call outside of my family, like just outside of my family. Maybe two or three people I can just call whenever something is going wrong and they know who they are and I tell them <laughs> and it's sad that <laughs> you know they they feel they can feel my spirit and they can be miles away but they can feel my spirit and it's somebody who can look me straight in my face every single day who can't even feel my spirit but lastly never lose yourself and somebody else. And even though you may have a big heart, everybody's heart is not going to be like your heart. Everybody is not going to to love the way you do. Everybody's not going to care the way you do. And that's okay. We are all different. But it's okay to remove yourself from a certain situation. It's okay to remove others away from you. It's okay to do all of that. You are not wrong for cutting people off if you absolutely need to. So never let this world pump fake you and make you feel like you have to be a certain way or you have to do a certain thing. You don't. So, in conclusion, you know what I'm saying? Keep it Southern playalistic. You know what I'm saying? Live every day like it's your last, but also live like you're trying to get in them golden gates. With that being said, I'm Cardo Santana. This is Street Gospel.